Let's see how to solve the nice problem. Solving a math problem usually means making connection between the given condition and the target. Let's analyze the given condition first. 4 to the power of x can be written as 2 squared to the power of x. The second term is 1 over 4 to the power of x. So we get 1 over 2 squared and then to the power of x equals 7. The first term is 2 to the power of 2x, well, so we can write as 2 to the power of x and then square plus 1 over 2 to the power of x and then square equals 7. To make the condition look simpler, we do a substitution. Let t equals 2 to the power of x. So we get t squared plus 1 over t squared equals 7. We denote that as 1. Now let's analyze the target. a to the power of x plus a to the power of negative x equals 2q to the power of x plus 1 over 2q to the power of x. And the first term can be written as 2 to the power of x and then q plus, yeah, equal. 1 over 2 to the power x, and then q. Because we know 2 to the power x equals t. So we get tq plus 1 over tq. Now we can use sum of cubes formula. a q plus b q equals a plus b. So we t plus 1 over t times a squared, so t squared minus ab, so minus t times 1 over t plus b squared, so it'll be 1 over t squared. Now we get t plus 1 over t, and the second factor, t squared plus 1 over t squared, so t squared plus 1 over t squared, this term is just negative 1, so minus 1. We denote that as condition 2. You see t squared plus 1 over t squared is 7, right? So that part is 7. So in order to figure out the value of the target, we only need to know the value of t plus 1 over t. Now start from condition 1. We make the left side as perfect square. Let's go. So 1. So we get uh, t squared and then plus 1 over t squared. So we need to add 2ab, right? So 2ab, so 1 over t. And then you need to do the same thing for the right side. So 7 plus 2 times t times 1 over t. Now the left side is a perfect square. So t plus 1 over t squared, the right side, is 1. So we get 7 plus 2 equals 9. Right? Taking square root for both sides, so we get t plus 1 over t equals plus or minus 3. But remember, t equals 2 to the power of x, which is greater than 0. So we get, I say, because t greater than 0, so we only get one value, so t plus 1 over t equals 3. We denote that as condition 3. So finally, we can find the value of a to the power of x plus a to the power of net x. By condition 2, we can write as t plus 1 over t times t squared plus 1 over t squared minus 3. By condition 3, we know the first factor, right, equals 3. By the condition 1, we know this part equals 7. So say 2. So get 7 minus, oh, oh minus 1, minus 1. Yeah. So 7 minus 1. So we get 3 times 6 equals 18. That is the final answer. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.